Okay, I did a video yesterday talking about remote start with your key fob, and I realized I missed some important information on that video, so I'm replacing it with this one. So, visit my sponsor, Sheehy Toyota of Fredericksburg and Stafford, Virginia, and of Laurel, Maryland. Visit them at Sheehy.com. Okay, so remote start. Since the 2023 model year, almost every new Toyota has included remote start. Prior to the 23s, a lot of them did, but not nearly as many as after the 23s. So you get a service called Remote Connect. Remote Connect gives you a one year free trial to remotely start your car from the app. Now you can also see where your car is parked and a bunch of other information, but the big deal is the remote start from your app. If you have that feature though, you also can remotely start your car from your key fob. The way you do that is you hit lock three times. You hit lock, 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 and on the third lock, hold it down until you get this flashing light here. Then you can let go and the car is going to start up. Now, while you get a one year trial on the app, you get a much, much longer time using the key fob. And we're gonna get into some details about that in a second. But I wanna show you one little quirk of Toyota Remote Starts. If you have remotely started the car and you open the door, it'll shut itself off. That's just a Toyota thing. A lot of manufacturers don't do that. Toyota does, no way around that. But that's actually changing because Toyota is now adopting what they call the drive off feature. But that right now is only on the cars with what is called Toyota Safety Sense 3.0. That includes the Prius, uh, the Crown, uh, all of the Corolla models, the Grand Highlander, the BZ4X. They're going to add it to the new 24 Tacomas and the new Land Cruisers coming out. And then more models after that. So I talked about the fact that you have a one-year trial on the Remote Connect on your app. But the key fob is going to work for up to 10 years, maybe longer. Long story there. But here's what happens. You need to have an active subscription with Toyota. And that means either Safety Connect or Service Connect needs to be active. Why? Because the Remote Connect uses what is called the DCM, the Data Control Module. The data control module is up here in the overhead console. It is what your little SOS button is connected to. What that does is it connects your car to Toyota. It lets Toyota know all sorts of information about your car remotely. As long as the DCM is active, the key fob will work as a remote start as long as it had remote connect in the first place. So, the trial periods on these things are very, very long. So every car since 2019 has included a 10 year trial on Service Connect. Service Connect just lets your dealership know when the car has a problem so that when you call them, they already know what's going on. Um, and since 23, Safety Connect has been a 10 year trial. So you have these free trials going on with your car. And as long as those free trials are active, that means that your DCM is active and it means that your key fob is going to work as a remote start. Unless when you bought your car, you got in and you decided you didn't want Toyota knowing where you were. You didn't want anyone knowing your location data and you declined the data consent. If you declined the master data consent, Toyota is very respectful of that. They turn off your DCM that means that your car is not transmitting any data. They cannot access anything about you at that point. However, your remote start doesn't work. Even from the key fob, it doesn't work. So be very aware of that when you go in to make some decisions about privacy with your car with the data consents on your app. What happens if you decline the data consent? Well, a dealership cannot turn your DCM back on. Toyota has to do it. And that means a phone call to the Toyota Brand Engagement Center at 1-800-331-4331.
it might take some effort because honestly talking to those people and making them understand what you're trying to do can be complicated. The, the thing that I've found is to tell them that you want to reactivate your trial period of Service Connect and or Safety Connect and tell them that you know you you hit the uh, wrong button on the data consents and you want to reactivate those trials that will do it usually takes a day or two but it'll work so that's how you get your dcm working again if you turn it off once your dcm is working your remote start will work from your key fob i hope i covered this better this time and hopefully i won't have to redo this video again so i'm steve clifford thanks for watching